Hello Taurus, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be doing your October monthly predictions. We're going to be looking into your general energy, your love, oh, <coughs> my chest just is saying weird. Your general energy, your love energy, and your career. So let's get started with your October prediction. So let's get started. Let's have a look into your general energy. I'm going to be using the numerology guidance cards. And let's see what you need to know in terms of the month of October. So we have two orange cards. We have self-love and we have music, okay? I don't know about these cards. I'm not too sure about them. I might actually try again. I'm not too sure about those. So if that resonates for some of you guys, then <laughs> that's for you. But I wasn't feeling that. So we have, okay, Perseverance, uh, number four. And then we have, let's get another one. We have Leadership, 81. So, so look out for the number four, guys, and look out for the number nine, because eight plus one is nine. And we have Follow Your Dreams underneath the card, underneath the card deck. So, Follow Your Dreams is going to be really important for the month of October. Um, I'm going to look into um, the energy with the uni Unicorn card deck and see what Perseverance is all about. Let's see what's going on with you guys. My Tauruses. We have adventure, dare to do things differently, manifest your travel dreams, move to a new location. This is very much like Sagittarius this reading. So if you're dealing with Sagittarius, then that is for you. Let's have a look at leadership. We have miracles. Wow, very similar to the card of adventure. Very, very similar. It says, have faith your miracle is on its way your pet your <laughs> your prayers have been answered surrender the how underneath we have intention be clear and decisive focus on what you really want be bold with your requests to the universe okay so this is all about you following your dreams and being clear and decisive about what you want okay i feel like tauruses are the clear and decisive of the zodiac um i'm gonna like put my hair back because this tiny bit of hair is really frustrating me and I think it's going to frustrate you guys as well okay so I feel like your adventure is coming forward so basically I feel like for a lot of you guys you're wanting the adventure okay it could also be could also be that you are persevering through an adventure so you're trying to kind of get through something to get to the other side this could be manifesting your financial dreams as well in terms of how much money you want to gain in terms of going towards like a, a holiday or something you want to save up for a holiday uh you just want an adventure okay and i feel like you need to kind of gather up the strength to get through whatever this is to get to the other side we also have miracles with the leadership card so there's definitely a sense of being your own leader in your life and knowing that there is going to be miracles on its way the leadership card is showing me that you need to kind of notice the signs. So for some of you guys, you may be feeling a little bit low in terms of signs coming towards you. So you may be like ignoring them and thinking they don't mean anything. Nothing has changed. Even though I get signs, nothing has changed. Just to let you know, guys, that the universe is here to help you with this. And it's leading you towards these miracles. OK, so what is this leadership card about? It's telling me being the writer in your own story, which sounds a bit kind of not helpful. So I'm going <laughs> to, but I do understand it. It's almost like you need to almost put forward the actions that need to be taken towards your dreams. So say if you want to go to traveling, save up money. If you want to get a car, save up money. <laughs> if you want to possibly have a relationship, um, work on yourself um, have some time away from work have relaxing time um, if you want to have a clearer mind and to not overthink so much meditate you know it's kind of taking those steps towards that end goal okay so leadership this card indicates a time to lovingly lead and guide others who are less capable than you are this may apply to your workplace community family or circle of friends by drawing this card, you're being encouraged to have confidence in your ability to motivate and inspire those who accompany you on your path. <clears throat> it could also be to do with communication because my throat did a weird thing there. This card also indicates a role as a leader in your field. You may choose to rise to the top of your game. 
with your unique talents or to lovingly lead others to a new and improved way of life. Either it's time to step up to the plate and adopt a new a position of authority for you have a natural, natural ability to lead. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonise with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to be a compassionate leader. Remember a successful leader leads alongside others rather than from above. Others graciously follow graciously, <laughs> graciously follow when you have their best interests at heart. So know that it is safe for you to lead the way. Your affirmation for this month is I lead others and in turn serve a higher purpose. That's really sweet. And it's basically I feel like you may need to persevere in terms of leading the people. There may be people who are really annoying <laughs> and you're trying to organise something. So it's basically like persevering through that. Okay. So let's have a look at your love life and see what's kind of going on in that section. We also have abundance underneath follow your dreams. So whatever is happening, it's coming for you in a really nice way. Look at those colours as well, like 85 and 88 pink and blue absolutely stunning i love that so much this is much lighter energy than i feel that like this is yeah so i feel like you're going to be aiming for this and you're going to go towards it and you have surrender underneath so i feel like that's really going to help you is to just surrender i know how hard that is because i'm dealing with that too so i can relate <laughs> i can relate so let's see what's coming towards you in love shall we let's have a look oh oh and out oh you guys know that that meme let me know <laughs> i love that meme it's so great right we have ten of pentacles the emperor four of pentacles and i say four of wands not four of wands four of pentacles justice and the ten of wands we also have underneath the deck we have the king of swords that is you being the leader right there that is you being like this is what i want i'm gonna go towards it showing the universe this is what i'm gonna go towards and i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I don't know what that's about. It's me being sassy. Very cringy, I know. So we yeah, have the Ten of Pentacles with the Emperor. This is great. This is in your love life. This is a really good sign, okay? So you could be matching up with another earth sign I'm seeing. I feel like the more financially abundant you are, the more the more whole you feel. And I know that's a very touristy thing to say. But I feel like you guys are really like the more you invest in your finances and getting grounded, which I don't feel like you have lack of being a Taurus but I feel like you guys are um kind of you need to be more aimed on your foundation first and then go towards whatever you need to go towards okay um yeah and just focus on the end goal okay guys I had a break to eat some lunch because my stomach was rumbling so if my camera angle looks different that is why Lee, in terms of love you are becoming more independent okay and this is definitely as i said foundation first then love afterwards and i see that you may be keeping yourself to yourself so make sure you are letting people in when somebody does come in at some point i don't see anyone coming in yet i mean possibly if we have the ten of pentacles but i don't see a massive amount of love coming in until possibly the end of october start of november and with the justice card in reverse it's basically saying that you need to sort out your own foundations and your own self-love your foundation within yourself emotionally and then you can give uh, um, more to somebody when they come in okay because we do have the ten of pentacles with the ten of wands this is all about you ending an old cycle and bringing in a new one so the ten of pentacles is always a really good um card to have in terms of love because it's all about like the the the, 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 the family the dog the house the marriage you know all that jazz so but basically what i'm seeing is this will happen when you create a foundation in yourself so being comfortable with who you are and embracing who you are um and letting people in when obviously when the time is right so in terms of love as well there were some cards that fell out i think all these ones that we had so these are the other cards we had is the the the, the why do i keep stumbling on the word the <laughs> the uh, five of wands in reverse, six of wands in reverse. And then we also have the four of cups and the lovers. So this is basically what I'm seeing is, in terms of the five of wands in reverse and the six of wands in reverse, this is showing me that you may feel like you're going backwards, okay? 
and it's not letting people affect your energy in terms of love and relationships and friendships just not letting people affect who you are standing strong with who you are and as i say create the foundation and therefore you won't have to kind of worry about anyone affecting you because you know that you've got a solid foundation within yourself and you're very happy with who you are um you could meet somebody from a far off place they could be from the internet or they could just be you meeting somebody when you travel um and i'm also seeing they could be even be somebody that isn't from your country that you're in so say like in england say i meet someone who is like i don't know i meet someone who is french but they possibly were born in france but they moved to england do you know what i mean so basically they look they don't look like they're from the, the origin of the country that you're living in uh, we also have the four of cups with the lovers so there is somebody coming in possibly as i said at the end of the month of october near to november and this could possibly be a christmas relationship i'm also hearing christmas baby so if any of you are pregnant i feel like a lot of you're going to have your babies around christmas time or you may conceive around christmas time um for those of you who are in relationships you may feel like you're going backwards you may want a commitment that your other person that you're with doesn't want or you're not sure if they want it or not so possibly have a conversation open up communication and let your heart be open and to not block off any kind of conversation and any kind of um opinions they have about marriage i feel like there's a lot of kind of marriage and kind of talk about that i do feel like a lot of you are very happy with your relationship though you're very stable and i do sense there is a kind of a heating up like i feel like it's going to be a towel moment at some point but it's going to be i feel like it's already been a towel moment or there is going to be a towel moment and that could also be affecting your relationship but i sense you just got to stand strong in your power and just kind of know what you want and if you don't know what you want then figure out what you want <laughs> so that sounds so mean like just basically look into what feels good for you and channel that energy uh yeah but i do see a new person coming in for you guys who are single um i think that's going to be quite good possibly for a water sign or a fire sign or air do you know what any sign because <laughs> i'm seeing earth as well so basically any sign so in terms of <clears throat> in terms of finances you may be going to a you may be in a job that you don't like as well i see you're having to kind of get through it kind of think when will this end when do i actually want to start a new re a new relationship okay a new relationship or a new career I just feel like being a Taurus that you are, I feel like you are, do have a very close relationship with money. So almost like your relationship with money is like your relationships. Which I know is not the same for every single Taurus, but that's kind of what I'm sensing. Because I went to say career, but I said, I said relationship. So, And also, <clears throat> our career is literally like a relationship. You know, you've got to be committed to it. You've got to enjoy it, because otherwise it makes you sad. And, you know, you've got to have something that's stable enough for you to continue with it for the long term. So that's basically what i'm seeing so in terms of your uh career section sorry i keep touching my hair it's just i'm like in a fiddling mood today um so in terms of your relationships no not relationships oh my god career vicky career career <laughs> in terms of your career we have the nine of pentacles sorry guys my brain just went numb <laughs> my brain just did a brain fart nine of pentacles with the sun card so this is you kind of connecting with your individuality i feel like you're also embracing your job i feel like a lot of you are very happy within your job if you're not i do see that you possibly could be making moves towards kind of changing that and we also have the lovers so you will be going towards something you really really enjoy possibly by the end of the month so by the end of the month i'm seeing career and money kind of coming together career money and relationships yeah a lot of you i feel like you're very much enjoying your job i don't see any kind of issue there okay i'm gonna actually pull a card on your career sector for the numerology cards healing so you may be in a job that you where you want to be a healer um but you may also kind of be healing kind of some financial issues that are going on possibly could even to do with law and court um but also to do with your connection with money and how it affects you in your life okay and just becoming more stable with that i just feel like stability is very kind of strong for you guys this month um i'm getting <laughs> i'm getting foundation is strong with this one <laughs> it's not a star wars quote i don't know 
But yeah, um, and we also got the Four of Cups underneath the deck. So there may be an offer coming in, but you may not accept it. We will see how that goes. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't, then that's completely completely fine. Just let it fly. If it does, please give me a, a comment. Let me know. Um, I know this video is more chilled, and I quite like that atmosphere. So I might do this next month for you guys for November readings. Uh, happy Halloween to anyone who celebrates it. Hope you have a really, really good uh, October. Sending you lots of love, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.